For me, watching movies is like digging for gold. I find all kinds of messages hidden away in most movies. But one of the recent movies had me clapping and crying and laughing. The Greatest Showman on Earth. The audacity and outrageousness of P.T. Barnum's venture to take a set of misfits and freaks and create a successful circus act. It was full of inspiring messages of chasing dreams and accepting people for who they are. But this quote had me actually clapping because it is a reminder that we need. Men suffer from dreaming too little than too much. And that is the focus of this episode, How to Dream Big. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. My biggest challenge when I work with clients is getting them to dream big. We have all been conditioned to think of a goal and then think of all the things that can go wrong. We have been guilty of making our dreams smaller. How often we have been told to be realistic and come down to earth, putting self-doubt into us. And it's not only in adults who are 40 plus that I see this fear. Young kids who I coach don't even want to think about the fact that they can achieve that score or that rank. Why? Because no one has ever got that or no one's ever done that. The world needs big dreamers and big movers and shakers. From your iPhone to your social media, someone dreamt it and made that happen. Until Roger Bannister broke the four minute barrier and sprinted a mile in three minutes, 56 seconds, no one thought it was possible. So. Why is it good to chase those wild dreams? Sometimes when we aren't where we want to be professionally or personally, it's easier to dream small. In fact, my focus with my clients is to erase all the voices they have of other adults or authority figures telling them to be realistic, to not fly so high because the fall will be then less steep. Well, this is one thing that I want you to chew on. While setting big goals does not ensure you will reach them, setting small ones will guarantee that you don't. Learn from history. For those who have achieved the most are the ones who did it against all logic, all odds and against all probability. Top performers don't get there by setting small, mediocre, practical goals. When your dream is big and hairy and outrageous and it scares you, there is magic. It will drive that vision forward. The excitement will help you navigate the path. And if the vision scares you and excites you, nothing else will be acceptable. Those who make big things happen, they know this. Your yesterday's actions created today's results. To make big things happen, all you have to do is take new actions. Of course, accept where you are today, but refuse to let it limit you. The rear view mirror is just for that, to check how far you have come, not to dictate where you're going. So get this, even a Bugatti Veyron, which can go at a speed of 408 kilometers per hour, it will not start at 408, it starts at zero. It goes to 11 km per hour before it picks up momentum. And as it picks up speed, the engine is warm, the gas pedal is pressed, and it's easy to accelerate and keep that momentum. So it is with those big dreams. Instead of looking at the goal and saying it's impossible or whatever crap thoughts you've been fed with, here's what you could do. This is the exact advice I give all my young students. Eyes on the price but daily focus on closing the gap. That's how you learn to walk, then hop, skip and jump. Like Richard Feynman says, all you need to know you learnt in kindergarten. To help you along in this journey, here's an interesting tool from my toolbox. This is called the Acorn Song, not the singer Acorn. So here's what I want you to do. Go find an acorn or any seed that is reasonably big and that which you can keep on your study table or bedside. And I want you to remember, if you saw the acorn, would you have guessed that the mighty oak comes from inside it? So every time someone says, you can't do this, 
don't be ridiculous be conservative or any of those old voices shut your eyes hold the acorn and say this is me i can and continue with your actions towards your dream simple isn't it pt banam's quote made me applaud because it's a reminder it's a reminder never to suppress your dreams because of fear of failure so be a dreamer be a doer if you need to be reminded to take risks or just dream again go see the greatest showman now and if you need help with dreaming big and achieving your goals reach out to me sign up below for a free strategy session to see what's possible sign up for one of our training sessions or if you want to do it alone start teaching yourself if you know anyone who's living in the shadow afraid to take that leap give them a nudge share this video with them maybe that's how we spread the light